Hello guys, my name is Paul, and today I'm going to show you how you can remote play your PS4 on a PC, or a laptop in my case. Now, the first thing I did was, and I gotta give a lot of credit to this guy named Twisted for creating his app that you can play remote play on PC. And I will link his website down in the description. But before I get into it, you should know that the app itself is going to cost you ten dollars of US and so let's get on with that there's two different remote plays the one with the latest build and the one in alpha the one that I'm currently using is the latest build which is on the left now to start remote play I launch the remote play app double click on it and just give it a minute and so that I don't get any copyright notification or anything, I'm going to turn the volume off on this. Well, anywho, when you open this up, you're going to see a screen like this. That says Remote Play on it. And if you want to know how to set this up and everything, you can go on his website and go under Forums and... He'll have a step-by-step -step guide on how to set all of this up. But what I'm going to do is, there's an option here that says Direct Connect and Scan, and I'm going to choose Direct Connect. I'm not going to be showing you the screen because it's set, my IP address is on it, and I don't want you guys to take my IP. And so I click Yes, and my PS4 is now waking up. Just give it a minute. Remote play cannot be found. Blah 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 blah. Just click yes again and see what happens then. And would you look at that? Now, again, as I said, I'm going to have the sound off. But as you can see here, the PS4 dashboard's been put up, signed into my account. Now what I'm doing is, I am currently using my PS4 controller. To move the game. But, if you go under files, you will find that under the options menus that this app has. If I can get this corrected. Okay, there we go. Under file, you have yourself exit. Under PS4, you will have yourself a connect button, disconnect, register, and your PS4 information. Now under settings, you have your controls, your resolution. Sorry for the jittery camera. But you have resolution, the option to toggle into full screen, and debug logging. And under help, you can deactivate your serial that you will get when you buy the product and an about option. Now we're going to go into settings, check what the resolution FPS is. And right now, it is at 540 with 60 FPS. But you can switch it up to, let's say, 720 or for a better quality, or 360 in case, you know, your internet isn't that good right now. But for me, I'm just going to keep it in the middle. And as I said before, I am using my PS4 controller. That is... Well, it's charging right now. I'm just going to take that off. Well, let me check real quick what my controls are. Okay. You got yourself keyboard and mouse. 
and wireless controller. Now these are the buttons that I put in, in the, into the custom mapping and all the buttons are there. As you can see I am currently moving this with my hands remote play on PC which is actually pretty good even though it's still in an alpha stage. Uh, we're gonna try say an easy game see how well it actually works closing up Rocket League and we'll start up with Street Fighter now for the most part this works pretty good especially the latest build Although, uh, very short instances, there will be a little bit of stutter with the game itself because my PS4 is connected through the wired connection and my laptop is wireless. Even though I am connected through Direct Connect and they're only about three feet away from each other. Now the latency between the TV and the remote play itself is actually really low. More low even than say a PS4 and a PS Vita. I'm going to choose random characters. And there's my TV right there on the remote play app. Try and skip all of this. Again, in my opinion, this is a really great app, especially for $10, even though it's a bit pricey. Uh, if you're impatient, you can go ahead and buy it, or you can wait for Sony to release their official remote play app. I'm going to switch this screen over to the PS4 so you can see what I'm talking about when I say that there really isn't much of a difference within the latency. As you can see, there really isn't much of a difference in latency. If there is, it's very, very tiny at the moment. And also, honestly, this is kind of difficult trying to play this with one hand and showing you the video of this. But all in all, this actually works and it's a pretty good app, in my opinion. Even if the cost is ten dollars. Well, anywho, that's the video that I was gonna show today. I'm gonna disconnect this now. Just shutting down. But if you want, you can purchase this on the website. On that website, then you go under downloads. You look at the downloads and you can purchase either this one or this one once you purchase one of them you actually get both of them so it really doesn't matter which one you get but for me I got the latest build or I downloaded the latest build which I am using right now and it works pretty good which again I will say it will cost you ten dollars US currency and I will upload this video in a few minutes and put the link to this app on my description. Thank you for watching.